do another news tonight. It's really not that many. I really ain't got that much stuff to talk about, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say that. I don't want to downplay what's going on in the world. But, you know, uh, we're not that much I really wanted to talk about, to be honest. Um, But there are a couple things. A couple things. First things first, I think we're just going to get right to it. I should, I could have made this the thumbnail, to be honest. Uh, So, Black Lives Matter call themselves. Um... <laughs> Demanding, uh, I'm sorry. Hold on, I, I want to make sure I get the title right. I want actually, I just want to show y'all this 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 bullshit. Okay, Black Lives Matter demands, bro. They're demanding to end white supremacy. They're de they're demanding to end white supremacy. Y'all, Black Lives Matter then figured it out. God damn it, Black Lives Matter then figured it out. They said, you know what? After all these years, black Americans been fighting, rioting, having revolts, protesting, marching, looting, motherfucking burning shit, getting getting killed, just going to war. Going to war. Been at war. This whole time in this country, you know what Black Lives Matter sat back and looked at us and was like, you know what y'all need to do? You know what y'all need to do that y'all ain't been doing? Y'all need to demand to end white supremacy. That's what the fuck y'all ain't be doing. That's how you gonna end it. Is you gonna you gotta demand to end it. So since Black Lives Matter, they got the they got the keys to the streets. They got the answer for black for black people. The answer to end racism and white supremacy is to demand. So that's what they came up with, y'all. To de demand it. This is the, this is the solution. I'm sorry, we we forgot. Black Americans, we just skipped. We skipped a couple steps. You know, it was our ancestors. We skipped. We went straight to fighting and in revolting. You know what I'm saying? And we, we we went straight to that. We 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 skipped over just. We 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 forgot to ask. I'm sorry, we asked. We skipped over demanding. Went straight to fighting and trying to get our shit back. But it's cool. Um, they said we just got a demand. So let's see. <clears throat> Number one, seven demands. Okay, Black Lives Matter. Seven demands. Seven. Very re relevant number. Seven principles. Seven candles. You see how they did that? That shit, everything is relevant. Shut out the uh, quantum. All right. Seven demands. First demand. Convict and ban Trump from failure. And I'm sorry, from future political office. Convict and ban Trump from future political office. Y'all, that's the first goddamn demand. Y'all, we are one demand in. And what the hell has this got to do with ending white supremacy? What the hell? So you just gonna block one white supremacist from being able to get an office, but you gonna line up the rest of them. The rest of them, they good. Everybody else good. All the Democrat white supremacists, the liberal the white supremacists, the other Republic, uh, Republican white supremacists, all of them is good. But this one, never, never could come back, all right? We are joining Republican uh, Elon, Elon Omar, Representative Ayanna Presley, Representative Cory Bush, Representative Jamal Bowman, and others who are demanding Trump be immediately convicted in the United States Senate. Trump must also be banned from holding elected office in the future, huh? So they wanna, they wanna convict this man too, huh? Don't, don't Hunter got some shit on his laptop, like, hey, look. I don't I ain't too too well versed in the in the in the red pill deep state shit, but my nigga, I know a little something drain the swamp. Nigga, I know a little something drain the goddamn swamp. Nigga, I know a little something. So y'all gonna convict that man too? Ain't Hillary Clinton? Y'all gonna convict Hillary too? Shout out to young Pharaoh. What the fuck is you talking about? Number two, expel Republican members of Congress who attempted to overturn the election and incited oh thank you so much. And incited a white supremacist attack. Oh, so they mad at the white people who told them other white people to run up on, uh, run up on the Capitol. All right. What the hell that got to do with ending white supremacy? Number two, we two demands in. What the hell that got to do with ending white, I'm sorry. So no more, not allowing, I'm sorry, uh, punishing the Congress members who incited that attack is just going to end white supremacy. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, that's going to stop. Other white supremacists from inside some shit. Okay. Okay. All right. More than half the Republican representatives and multiple senators stoked Trump's conspiracy theories and encouraged the white supremacists to take action to overturn the election. We are supporting Representative Cory Bush's resolution to expel them from Congress for their dangerous and treacherous actions. Treacherous. 
Um, we also support uh, steps to bar them from seeking another office. So you trying to, again, y'all playing, they playing, it's like you, you playing, you're playing, you're playing against yourself. It's like you're trying to play one white supremacist against another, and they're both, they both gonna win at the end of the day, okay? Just saying that this sanction of white supremacy can't do something ain't gonna stop the rest of the Simpson. You don't, you do understand that, right? That, that ain't gonna stop, stop nothing else. Number three, launch a full investigation into the ties between white supremacy and the Capitol Police, law enforcement, and the military. Okay, here we go again. All right, now they, number three, now we kind of scratching the surface. Uh, now you trying to, you knocking on the door. You, you're not even knocking, you scratching at the door trying to get some shit done. You, you scratching at the door, but you ain't really doing shit. You talking about a study, a full investigation into the ties between white supremacy and Capitol Police. Baby, the police was built off white supremacy. You know that they were slave patrollers, right? Literally, the epitome of white supremacy. And you wanna, you just wanna launch an investigation. Like they don't know that there's multiple white supremacist terrorist groups entrenched in goddamn, in the in the police force. Are we are we gonna play? We gonna, no, but we gonna, we, they need a study to make sure, just like with reparations. Oh, let's do a study. We gonna do a study to see if, uh, to see how black people have been affected and if they should get reparations. No, y'all know we we, we 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 should have our reparations. Y'all know y'all should be paying what's passed. Do you know that there's a bunch of white supremacists inside, fuck, inside, the, inside law enforcement, period? My nigga, an investigation? You could just look at some of the recent fucking cases and see that. You could go through and start looking at their tattoos and their haircuts and some of the signals they throwing up in their goddamn pictures. But you need to do an investigation? You need to launch a whole investigation. You know, I don't think it take that much goddamn investigating to see the obvious. I don't think it take that much investigation. The Capitol was about to be breached and over and overrun by white supremacists attempting to disrupt the political process that is fundamental to our democracy. We know that police departments have been a safe have a safe haven for white supremacists to hide. Um, mill millennium. Mm. Millenet, millennium. I'm not sure about that word. I don't want to fuck it up. Behind a badge, because the badge was created for that purpose. We also know off-duty cops and military were among the mob at uh, at the Capitol on January 6. Guilty parties need to be held accountable and fired. We are supporting Republican Jamal Bowman's uh, Jamal Bowman. Who the fuck is who is this? Uh, Coop Act to investigate these connections. I'm sorry. That's what's up. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not going to even shit, them all, or shit on them all the way. That's what's up. You know what? That's good. That's what's up that y'all are trying to charge some of these white supremacists that was involved inside inciting this damn, you know, uh, attack on the Capitol. That's what's up, I guess. But you know what? It's also a little offensive because it took for them to not even, first of all, the people had to, did anybody get hurt at the Capitol? Let me not speak out of ignorance. Did anybody get hurt at the Capitol? Did anybody die? Did they go up there and kill anybody at the damn Capitol? Let me just make sure. Because I don't want to sound insist. Did anybody die at the damn Capitol? At the hands of some of the protesters? Did somebody die? Did anybody get lynched? Anybody get raped? Anybody get did anybody have anything stolen from them? Anything real egregious? Other than the fact that it was held up, sitting in the damn room, waiting for niggas to get out for, for a couple hours. Did anything happen like that? That I'm not aware of. And if it was, was it a wreck of them? Okay? Because that type of shit. White people been running up in black people hoods, black people businesses, black people shit, black people business for the longest and tearing shit down. So how you think we feel? It took for them to attack the Capitol for y'all to for y'all to start wanting to investigate some shit. Now it it took for y'all to attack some some white people, some fake ass uh, some bad politicians on this such such an important. Which really let's not let's be honest here. Everything is relevant. Y'all know we ain't playing with this fuck ass government. And everything is. I ain't gonna get, I ain't gonna put the ten full the ten full bottle on, but y'all know what I'm getting at, man. That shit was ain't no damn. It's, it, nothing is happening by accident. We know this, y'all, but I ain't gonna put on the ten full cool, Koofy, come on. But they need an investigation, bro. They know what's up. There's no investigation that's needed. They know. They know what's up. They know what's up. for. Permanently ban Trump from all digital media platforms again. I mean, I, and I think. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to say, I don't know why. Of course we know why. They're trying to blame, they try to shift blame off the government and the actual system of white supremacy and try to put it all on Trump. Bruh, Trump is not, 
the key holder ain't the gatekeeper to white supremacy. Like this man, they act like, I mean, they did this. This is how they they got us in a trick bag with, uh, with Biden. This was the whole thing they pushed with Biden. Oh, Trump got to get out of office. He's so bad. He's so terrible. Even though, come on, let's be honest. A lot of black people didn't even mind Trump. I ain't going to go so far and say a lot of us fuck with Trump, you know. But I'm just saying a lot of us didn't mind him. I said this shit before. A lot of us were like, you know, Trump, you know, that nigga, you know, we ain't fucking with him. But, you know, he over there, we over here, we do what we do, we, we get what we need, they, they doing what they need. You know, we was good, is all I'm saying. Black Americans, we was good with Trump in office. If he would have got a second term, nigga, I guarantee you we would have been good. Just like we was good the first time fucking round. We would have been good with a second round of fucking Trump, with a second round of Trump. I know a lot of black Americans who voted for Trump. I know a lot of them who, even if they didn't vote with Trump, was like, ah, damn. I mean, Biden ain't looking too good either. Even if they wasn't voting for Trump, they was like, ah, they ain't leaning toward Biden. It was like, Biden is, ah, I'm going to vote for Biden because I'm Democrat. You know, I'm a Democrat. I've been voting Democrat. But it's not, I'm not really feeling Biden like that. Niggas wasn't really fucking with Biden, though. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if we being honest. Everybody wanted to get up in arms and say Trump was so racist, da, da, da. But a lot of black Americans, if you talk to black people on the regular, they didn't. I done talked to a couple black Americans like, yo, I fuck with Trump. That nigga got my bread, especially business owners, black American business. Man, I, fuck, I, got my, I got my bread, nigga. I was up. Man, I don't know the fuck you. I don't know what the fuck these niggas talking about with Trump. Being mad at Trump, that, that nigga helped me out. I was straight. My business was straight. During the pandemic, all that shit, I was good. So, them trying to place all this blame on Trump, we, I mean, even, even the average black American, you ain't even gotta be conscious to look at this bullshit as, listen, be like, Trump, you want to ban Trump? You think that's going in white supremacy? Is banning Trump from media platforms? And then the one over, it's like, damn, you don't believe in freedom of speech? This nigga can't get on, <laughs> he's that bad? You trying to say he's like, damn, that Hitler level of bad, this nigga can't even get up and speak? To his fans, to people who actually want to listen to him. I mean, freedom of speech. And they can't get up on digital platforms. He was the fucking president, for Christ's sake. The nigga was the president. You telling me he can't get up on digital platforms? Seriously? I don't even like the man. But damn, he can't get up on digital platforms. Are you dead ass? I don't even agree with that shit. I'm a black American. This shit's supposed to be to benefit me. This list's supposed to benefit me. And I don't even fuck with it. Why the fuck is you banning Trump from, damn med from media platforms for what? For what? We're supposed to have freedom of speech. Let that man say whatever the fuck he want to say. Conspiracy or not? The hell drain the swamp. Uh, drain the goddamn Trump. Trump, uh, Trump has always, <laughs> Trump has always used uh, his digital media platforms recklessly and irresponsibly to spread lies and disinformation. Now it is clear than ever that digital, I mean, that his digital media is also used to incite violence and promote its continuation. He must be stopped from encouraging his mob and further endangering our communities, communities even after inauguration. Um, Trump, Trump, Trump ain't, uh, Trump, Trump ain't inciting shit on black Americans. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Trump ain't, ain't told no damn white terrorist groups to come to the hood or come to black neighborhoods and fuck shit up. That's not, that ain't happening. We ain't, we ain't out here concerned about Trump sicking his dogs on us. We ain't. Shit, you talk to a lot of black Americans, black men specifically, they not worried about that shit. They like, nigga, let them motherfuckers come over here. Let them come over here if they want to. <laughs> let them come if they want, but I got something for that ass. And they know that, which is why they don't come. Let's not forget, let's not pretend like, motherfuckers try to act like we so scared. This, that's what this is. Like, we're so, what does this say? Uh, clearer than ever, the media wants to incite violence and promote communication. He must be stopped from encouraging his mob and further endangering our, commu endangering our communities. Wait a minute. Don't, 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 don't say it like, like we out here, we, we unprotected, or we we can't protect our goddamn self, endangering our community, we, we got, we been holding down, let's not forget, let's not forget how we got here, okay, we been holding it down, alright, we not worry about no fucking Trump inciting no goddamn white supremacists coming to, uh, coming to attack us, that's not happening. Baby, it's not happening. It ain't going down like that. Y'all can think it's going down. Black Lives Matter, y'all can think it's going to go down. It's just going to be that easy. It ain't going to be that damn easy. But all right. You know, this Black Lives Matter shit, I ain't really had that much to talk about. Um, So we're going to break down, break down this joint. Black Lives Matter going catch to catch this fire today. They're going to catch all I got to catch this smoke. It's going to be Black Lives Matter. What are you talking about? They deserve it. Um, Very well deserved because they some bullshit. Defund the police. The police that met our Black Lives Matter uh, Black Lives Matter protesters this summer with assault rifles, tear gas, and military-grade protective gear were the same police that on Wednesday met the white supremacists with patience and the benefit of doubt of the doubt. 
uh, going so far to pose for selfies with writers. Right, but we know that. We know that. Like, we know that. We know that that's them people. We said, what are the first things I said when I seen the damn, the riots, that they was letting them come in? I'm like, duh, that's their cousins. What the, what the, you, you want to take your family? I want to let my cousins in too. Hey, bruh, hey, bruh. I'm going to try to hold it down for you. Hey, look, I, I'm going to try to look like I ain't going to let you in. But, bruh, you know, I ain't trying to lose my job, so just come in. Duh. Nigga, that's their cousins. That's their family. What did you talk? They probably got these motherfuckers on red like the government. No, like, this is like they're giving too much credit to ignorance. Like, these motherfuckers don't know. They know this already. They know that. Like, it's, they know that. You know? What are we? What do you? And then defund the police. Where, where the money going? Okay, we be funding the money. Are we getting reparations? See, we get money and we getting reparations. That money going straight to Black America's pocket. I'm cool. Hey, look, cause we can we can form our own military. Hey, you, my police joints. Hey, look, I'm be cool with that. But that shit go as long as the money comes straight out. They shit go straight to my account. I'm talking about same day. I ain't talking about the police get defunded for a couple weeks and the Black Americans out here looking sick. Hell nah. I want money before these motherfuckers even get like get them a little cash to get them off for get them off for a couple weeks. The rest of that. Go ahead and deposit in the Black Americans account. Go ahead and get that off ASAP. That way we can already start getting our shit together. While they trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? That's how we gonna defund. But if we de defunding the police, like these motherfuckers wanna defund just to defund. Just cause y'all think they racist, nigga. What is that gonna do? I'm sorry. Who am I gonna call when my cat is stuck in a tree? Nigga. I'm just saying. Oh, never mind. That's the fire fire department. But nigga, who am I gonna call when the motherfucker break to the crib? I mean, it's just unrealistic. We do need uh, some sort of motherfucking objective fucking police ing. You know what I'm saying? And not even the form of policing, because I believe in community policing. I think black people need their own shit. That's why I believe in calling the police, period. But my nigga, I'm just saying, it's unrealistic. It's unreal fucking. Like, we just going to defund the whole police. And then what? Well, I'm just trying to figure out. And then what? Now we got race soldiers walking around undeputized? Well, what's going to happen? I mean, wh where is that? Where does that leave us? I mean, really, really, where the fuck does that leave? Because at least if he got on the badge, we know. Let me see where I'm about to go with this. At least if he got on the badge. You know what? Damn. You know what it is? It's damn that you do, damn that you don't. Because I'm thinking about it like, at least if he got on the badge, we can hold him more accountable. Or we can hold him accountable. He can get harsher consequences because he works for the state and works for the people. But then again, I'm like, you know what? We ain't even been getting that. I mean, Chauvin just got, got tried as guilty. Has he got sentenced yet? Did Chauvin get sentenced yet? How many years he get? Because that shit don't happen, uh, don't happen too often. This is, what I'm, this is what I'm getting to. We don't get justice enough. So it's like, uh, you know, should we? I mean, does it matter if they have a, Where the fuck does that leave? What y'all think? Does it leave us empty? Like, does it even matter? Well, what my concern is, where the money going? That's what I'm thinking about. Where the fuck is the money going? We gonna defund the police. Where the money going? Because I feel like we should get it. If anybody gonna get some money from police, damn it, black people have had it the worst in the police. We should get it. We do not play by our friends. 